you, you come over here, sister. Okay, sister, what do you need from the Lord? Quickly. Healing. So when I give you the mic, just tell me your name and your problem, just quickly. It's Roberta, and I've got cancer of the um, bone marrow. I've been told. Hi. Uh, my name is Roberta. I remember you came to the Bradford meeting yes. about three years ago. Yeah, I did, yes. So uh, what was the problem? I had cancer, cancer of the bone, bone marrow. And um, I was having chemo. And um, I came to the meeting. So how advanced was the cancer? <laughs> yes, I had had it for quite a few years, but I thought the pain in my legs and so forth was just because I was getting old. And, you know, well, I had not passed this way before, so I didn't know how to feel and how I should feel as an old woman. So where was the cancer in the bones? Where? It is in my long bones, in the bones in my femur, uh, all the long bones in my body. That's in the mar bone marrow where your blood is made. And where was the pain? In my left leg, mostly. I remember you. You were, I think, the first person. Yes. <laughs> and I went straight back. <laughs> I was looking until I could see the demon of the cancer. And then what happened? Well, you, you, <laughs> you touched me and I fell back. Straight away, I just fell back. And um, when I went back to the... Um, to the so, so I touched you. Yeah. And Jesus touched you. Yes. It's Roberta. And I've got cancer of the um, bone marrow. I've been told. How old are you? 82. 82. You're still young. Two months to 82. <laughs> Okay, so you went back to the doctor. How, how much longer after you've received prayer do you go back to the doctor? I used to have a blood test every month. And that one, when I went back to have the next one, it was negative. I didn't have any cancer. Okay. Wow. Praise God. So, shall I, tell, shall I explain to you the surgery you had? Well, well yes. Go on. So, Jesus showed me the demon that was causing the cancer. And when I touched you, he cast it out and you took your cancer. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. That's good enough. Yes, yes. Who healed you of bone marrow cancer? Jesus. Jesus, definitely. So, you know, the people here listening, there's people online later on listening. Maybe someone's got bone marrow cancer. What spiritual advice would you give them as an older person? <laughs> pray. Pray. And if there's anyone who um, wants to pray with you and pray for you, accept it. And accept Jesus is the healer. He's Lord of our lives. He went to the cross for us. By his stripes, we were healed. It's in the past. We were healed. We are not going to be healed. We were healed. We just have to believe and accept it and receive it. It has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. It is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So we are already healed. We are not going to be. We should just accept it. Thank God for that.